guess who's back y'all it's me back at it again with a whole nother tutorial so I'm going to be showing you guys all the things that I did to prep and prime my face from my cleanser to my moisturizer and to also my primers and of course you know I love my primers whether it's a spray on or cream it always makes sure that my makeup is always on point and last but not least, I decided to go ahead and do my brows first so I didn't have to make this video very long and I can seal them as well. So now let's get into the video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of color correcting with my 10 color palette by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be taking that coral color and I'm going to be putting it in the spots that are the darkest on my face. Which is under my eye and a little bit around my lip. So I'm going to be taking my middle finger and I'm going to be applying that color right underneath my eye. A little bit actually on my cheeks as I do have some discoloration on my cheeks and around my lip. What I'm doing is I'm going to be canceling out the discoloration that I have on my face. So that's why I'm using this color to cancel it out and it's going to basically kind of blend in. So it's not going to look really red but it's going to look more kind of neutral based. Now to neutralize my face, I'm going to be using my brow concealer for my whole face. Now my brow concealer is also my skin concealer. And what I'm doing here now is I'm just basically setting up my face to apply my foundation. Now you can see that my skin concealer is actually kind of filling out as if it was my actual foundation. But it's not. It's just neutralizing my face and with the color correcting, it's just filling in all the gaps and making it a beautiful nice surface for me to work on for the rest of my makeup. But color correcting is something that you really have to learn. It's very, very hard because you have to understand the undertones and the cool tones and the warm tones. But I will say practice makes perfect. So always continue to try and learn how to do color correcting because it will definitely benefit your makeup in the long run. So now I just realized that I did record an eye look but I lost it. I don't know where it went. I think I ended up deleting it. So basically I did this little spiel about my eye makeup that I actually use on my face. Sorry guys. I love this palette. I have right now Cleopatra on my eyes. I have Morocco as my transitional color. I have a little bit of Kenya right in the corner of my eye. And like I said y'all, this palette is amazing. It's beautiful. It's so pigmented. And I'm glad that I got a hand on this palette. Now let's get back to your regular scheduled programming. Sorry again, y'all. But anyway, now going on to my highlighting, I'm going to be dipping into my AJ Crimson Artist Contour Highlight Palette, which is so amazing and so creamy. And I'm going to be basically starting to highlight and contour my face with just this palette. Now, this is a color that I normally necessarily don't use, but I decided to use it for my contour today because I definitely want a nice to find contour. I was afraid to use it, but hell, it's makeup, you make mistakes, and you just learn from them. But I love how it made my face look like I had chiseled cheekbones. Now, like I said, right here, I'm just carving out my face and getting the highlight and contouring ready because trust me, when that beauty blender hits it, it's going to look fabulous.
Now to set the under eye concealer, I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Banana Translucent Luxury Powder and setting it, aka baking. And I'm going to bake a little bit of the powder underneath my eyes because I really don't like to have all that powder. It gets messy, it gets annoying. And so I just put a little bit of the powder on my powder puff and I'm just putting it in the areas of where I have my highlight. pretty much buff everything off buff all the excess powder away because we don't want to have a whole bunch of powder just sitting on top of your face now to set that contour I'm gonna be dipping into my favorite actually bronzer contour powder whatever you want to call it it is the ebony cover girl bronzer and I'm just going to be using a nice fluffy dome brush and just setting that contour and making that beautiful cheekbone be defined yes girl you better contour that cheekbone Cover girl bronzer right on my cheekbones, giving myself a nice kind of warm glow, and then setting my whole face with my LA Girl Cosmetic Mineral Foundation and just putting a little bit on my face, just making sure that I set my whole entire makeup so we won't go nowhere, hunty. So I went to IMAS this year and I hope you guys can click this link and look at my video. I have amazing great goodies and maybe even a giveaway cooking but just stay tuned. I definitely want you guys to make sure you check that out and definitely like that video and subscribe if you haven't been a subscriber yet. That's very important. Okay, going into this glow part. Yes, I'm going into my Anastasia Glow Palette and going in that golden bronze and I'm going to be shuffling that right on the cheekbones, giving myself that glow, putting it on the nose, putting it on my cubist bow, a little bit on my forehead, giving me a nice, beautiful golden glow. Yes. Now it's time for the lips, which is my favorite part. So I don't know what I wanted to try. I wanted to try either Kylie's Literally or Kylie's Like Lip Gloss. But I was definitely feeling the Like Lip Gloss. So I decided to put that on my lips and I love, love this lip gloss. I'm not going to even front. I love it. However, unfortunately, I don't like the brushes. The brushes are really cheap and I hope she really goes back into the lab and cook up a banging ass brush because the brush applicator sucks however my lips is looking really beautiful really nudie and really really cute so this is the look guys I hope you loved it I hope you liked it definitely like I said thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel comment down below let me know what you like take a look at my videos on my page and I'll tune into a whole nother video with you guys I love y'all thank you for staying there with me until next time you guys take care